Hi everyone, BPDU GAR is the topic for today. We are going to discuss this uh, topic. So if you remember from the video which, which we have on port fast feature uh, of a switch. So we use this port fast feature to bypass the listening and learning state of STP. So if you remember in STP we have these two states and after these two states we can move to the forwarding state and the forwarding state is the state where we, where we can forward and receive the data frames. So for example, in this network, we have these three switches and they are running STP protocol and they are in the stable state. And we have configured or we have enabled STP, or oh sorry, port fast on this port of the switch. And we have connected a computer, fine. And then we have enabled port fast feature on this port as well. And we have connected a PC, that's fine because if you remember, when we enable port fast, we make a promise that we will not connect any node which is STP speaking. So like switch and bridge, we have to avoid these nodes because they, they are STP speaking nodes. STP, STP speaking node means they, they take part in STP calculations and everything. Okay, we have to avoid whenever we use port fast feature. But for example, we have the enable port fast feature on this port as well and uh, accidentally or intentionally we have used or we have connected a switch with that port it means we have uh, we have just we just broke our promise that we will not be using any stp speaking node with the port where this port fast feature has been enabled okay so we we did something wrong intentionally or with planning or with with um, accidentally so what will happen, this new switch, actually this new switch may have lower priority value than rest of the switches in the network. So this new switch may have lower priority value than this switch or this switch as well as this switch. And if you remember, low priority value means the switch which has the low, lowest priority value will be selected as a root switch. So exactly in the same way, when this switch gets connected with this switch, this will exchange the BPDUs and these BPDUs will be um, exchanged between all of the switches and maybe this new switch will qualify as a new root switch in the network. And if that switch has been selected as a new root switch in the network, then this switch may create problem. This switch may uh, introduce some uh, some issues which we don't want so this may uh, destroy our stp tree which we actually are interested in so but remember this would only happen if bpdus are exchanged on that particular port on a specific this port but if this port is stops receiving bpdus from this switch then our problem is solved so we are looking for some solution where this port should disable should be disabled whenever this port receives any bpdu from this new switch unintentional switch so do we have any solution for this and yes this is the solution provided by bpdu gar because the cisco bpdu gar feature disables a port if any BPDUs are received on that port. So this is the simple uh, purpose of this. So this actually disables a port. So this port will be disabled as soon as this switch will try to send BPDUs to this port. And once we have this feature, we can avoid this uh, problem of having new root switch in our network, which may create multiple problems. So, this is the use of BPDU GAR in STP. So, yes, thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.